Fuck it. I'm gonna let the camera roll. I've been sitting here thinking, stopping, and starting this recording too many times. The answer is simply yes. I am quitting, kind of, sort of, maybe, perhaps. It's really not that simple. Bottom line here, though, is I have a lot to share with you. Today's my 24th birthday, as well as our eight-year anniversary here on the channel. So I've got a lot on my mind, a lot to share. I'm gonna try and be as articulate as possible while also not rambling too much, although you know I am the king of rambling out here. So I'm gonna try and keep my thoughts as concise as possible share with you everything I want to go over in this quick vlog little update to touch base with all of you and let you know that I am sort of quitting kind of it's it's really a dramatic headline I understand but it really does mean a lot to me this is a big moment in my life because for the last year and a half really truly maybe even the last two years I've been making a lot of um, I guess mistakes is the best way to put it as far as my channel and YouTube career goes and not all of those mistakes are, are totally on me, and not all of them are totally out of my control. But I'm also not an idiot. Um, <laughs> I've been trying to do so many different things with this channel, and I'm aware that not all of them have obviously worked in my best interest. They haven't been in the best interest of my fans, and I've been trying to cater a little bit too much to what I thought uh, YouTube may like to see from me. So I've done a lot of things, especially in the last few weeks and, and few months, really starting last summer 2017, to try to improve my content, hire editors, make the content more and more high quality, just generally improve things, make it more banterous, make it more easy going for, I hate to say it, but I'm going to say it, I'm going to be honest, a younger audience, because for some reason YouTube, and this is on me again, like I said, I'm not, I'm not perfect, a lot of these mistakes are totally isolated and my own fault. Um, but what I was going to get at there is YouTube has seemed to be not really sharing my videos with a new audience at all. And a lot of my existing viewers have been getting older and older. So you see a lot of comments about Mitch, I don't play Minecraft anymore. Don't really enjoy your vids. That's fine. And I, I appreciate that. And that's really what I want to talk about here today. Am I quitting? Not quite. Am I quitting Minecraft? I think it's time that I really take a deep look at that decision. And I have been really rattling that around my head for a long time. Because the way I've always done my YouTube channel historically is I've done it with friends. I haven't done it as a solo act. And really the last year, year and a half has felt that way. And that's not my passion or drive. I can sit down and put together cool videos, maybe like tips and tricks, reviews and stuff. I've done that way back in the past with Call of Duty over on Machinima when Machinima Respawn was a big thing. And I enjoy that. That's a cool little like hands-on project solo experience. But as far as everyday content and being a gamer or a gaming personality here in the online space, I just can't do it alone it's not my thing it is not my passion it is not my drive and i've really been trying to force something that isn't me and i know a lot of people have uh, criticized me saying that i've been doing that for money or whatever um other motives there may have been and that's really not the case i was desperately trying to save my channel and in an effort to save it i in fact made many things worse and like i said i'm, I'm totally happy to accept the blame on that and I'm ready to move forward and take some steps that are really for my own personal happiness and will make me excited because, let's face it, if we look at the channel, 6 million subscribers and 15 to 20,000 views a video, this is about as close to rock bottom as I'm gonna get, but that honestly excites me. It's an opportunity to do something new, do something different, and really take a step at uh, doing what makes me happy and, and just work towards that because I no longer have anything left to lose. <laughs> <laughs> as horrible as that is to say, I'm going to be honest with myself. I think uh, a good little bit of personal reflection from time to time is an excellent thing. And uh, I'm excited to take steps forward to hopefully see some growth and hopefully re-inspire many of my existing fans who are still here as well as many of my older fans who have aged and outgrown my content maybe some of you will return to my videos my channel my content maybe not but i'm hoping at the very least a lot of you see this video and uh, can kind of learn from what i'm saying because I i've seen a lot of those cliche facebook videos and youtube videos wherever they're hosted it doesn't matter um you know about chasing your dreams and not living your life for that almighty dollar bill and it really does hit home with me, um, especially in the last six months to a year, where, like I said, I've been, I've been trying to force things, not necessarily for the motives of, of earnings, because my earnings have been actually doing quite the opposite, let's be realistic, uh, <laughs> but for the motives of like trying to do what I thought the status quo wanted. I thought YouTube wanted me 
to, I guess, develop my content in a, in a child and family friendly fashion and sort of neglect really how I wanted to create my content and what I wanted to put out there in the space. And what's inspiring and great to see is, is things like, you know, attending that KSI versus Joe Weller match. Like they did something they just truly wanted to do. They didn't care about the status quo. They didn't care about what other people thought. They just did it. You know, seeing new channels like, let's say, uh, Ninja, for example, who's a Twitch streamer coming to YouTube and absolutely taking over by storm. He's not family friendly. He's not kid friendly. He does his thing. He enjoys himself. He does exactly what he wants to do. And people love it and love him for that. So what I want to do is, is no longer be... Um, I guess Bajan Canadian in the sense of what I have crafted over that's a great choice of words right there holy smokes uh, have crafted over the last two years I guess since I've stopped filming with my friends as much which to touch on that not to blame them I can't blame them I wish I had stepped forward and, and made these decisions sooner like many of them but they don't play Minecraft so for me to film with a lot of like let's say the pack guys for example or Pete um, or uh, Nooch who quit but a lot of you guys know these guys um, it's it's tough because they don't do Minecraft. They don't want to touch it anymore, and, and I get that. It had a great run. Like it really did, and uh, it's still fun for me. I don't hate the game by any means. It's not what this is about. I'm a social gamer. I need to do what I, I like to do with my friends, and that's what's important to me is uh, doing some new things and, and being with my group of friends and doing what they want to do as well. So really what I want to do and say with this channel here is a couple of things. Number one, I want to be launching another channel, and I know some of you are like, oh, God, another one? Yeah, great. Um, well, I'm going to be starting another one. I'll probably call it like Benja Games or something that'll be in line with that personality. And I'll be trying to do things like Fortnite with the boys. I'll be doing, uh, you know, golf with friends, whatever they want to do. I'm just going to hang out, have fun, enjoy myself. The intent there is to just enjoy it, have a good time. And if people like it and want to see more, great. Subscribe, watch the videos, do your thing. I just want to do things that make me happy and have a little space for that. But what I want to do with this channel here is I want to take a, a intelligent and reasonable approach to how I'm going to, I guess, transition out of Minecraft. So I'm not going to be cutting it cold turkey. Um, I've got a server called Skybounds, and I absolutely love creating content there and being able to be part of the development of the game and improve it. So I have a lot of plans and things going on there, so I still want to support that from time to time at the very least as we transition away from Minecraft. I've got a couple of cringy videos, and I do say that meaning it, um, because I understand that's like what I was referencing, that character I created, where I'm being a lot more animated, a lot less real, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, look, people are actors. People do their things. You know, like, total respect to creators like popular remotes and Dan TDM and Sunday and others who you know for years and years and years have, have maintained that face that kids and parents know is a safe place to go and there's nothing wrong with that it didn't work for me and it, there's no point in in going down that road that is not having the success in that demographic and I guess that space and trying to force it and force it and force it. it's not working I'm moving on and I'm okay with that and now it's a great opportunity, like I've been saying, to just be myself and do my thing. Freaking have a good time, man. Do what I want to do out here. And what I'm really excited for and what I want to do with this channel is, like I said, slowly take steps away from Minecraft over this month and really move into a new game that's coming out called Pixar. I've seen so many great trailers, reviews, articles, and things. It's very similar as far as like being a sandbox game, having that uh, pixel cube world all around it. It just looks awesome. It really, really does. It's based on Ark Survival as well. It basically just looks like Minecraft 2.0 upgraded and then some juiced up. And I know a lot of my friends, like the Pack guys, for example, have been talking about this game a lot as well. They're super excited for it. So fingers crossed that it's a banger and will hopefully help revive this channel so that many of you will want to see those videos again. But I won't be doing the, um, I guess, cringe version of myself. I I'll just be hanging out. Like I'm just going to have a good time and not worry about it, not stress about it. And uh, do my thing there. So that's the plan. I want to be able to be real. I want to be able to hang out and chat with you all. Talk about our food and drank again. Just do our thing. And also sell it when I want to sell it. Speaking of which, um, my hoodies, they're literally on sale for I think less than 48 hours as of seeing this video. Because come this Monday, let me check the date right here. Come this Monday, March 5th. They are going to be shipped here to the office to me, whatever's left of my inventory. So I've got them. I don't know the exact price. You'll see it on the website or I guess in the video details next to the link. I have talked to the warehouse that's doing this for me. And we're lowering the price as much as I can so that I don't lose money. But so that I basically just pfft, nothing. I want, I want to have this on sale for anyone who wants to grab this hoodie. 
from uh, the legacy of Trojan Canadian Minecraft. Real talk, though. Uh, I love the hoodie, and I'm going to keep wearing it and repping it and uh, and whatnot. So hopefully many of you will as well. Even if you've already bought it, I know back in the day I used to sell this for like 80 bucks to 100 bucks. If you bought it back then, I mean, you could cop a fresh one if yours is a little worn and torn because it's, like I said, going to be really, really really cheap as low as they'll let me go so that's the plan there i've now sold out as well and i'm just like i said i'm just happy to be able to sit down and have these conversations i would love to actually make kind of like a throwback video series and maybe call it thoughts on or the history of or whatever talk about awesome sauce films which is a channel i used to have with jerome way back in the day where we did halo and call of duty and stuff talk about my machinima days when i was on machinima respawn machinima realm like the real early days of when i even first created this channel talk about team crafted which was also like a great era of youtube uh for me and a lot of great experiences and hilarious stories and some shocking stories as well that i could share there uh oh god that would get that would get quite uh quite crazy quite quickly uh you know the pack there's so many stories and things there as well i could talk about that just lots of lots of stuff I, i'd love to be able to sit down and just just do that you know just have those conversations chillax enjoy it and just be a youtuber again rather than being this I don't even know, like, character's not the right word, but I just felt a disconnect, if that makes sense. Like, it wasn't me, so I didn't really care to read the comments as much. I didn't really care to check that stuff. Mind you, there's other factors in play that make that more, uh, lack of better words, miserable for me, like the views and the negativity in the comment section. But I'm going to look away from that, all right? I'm going to turn a blind eye to the negativity. I'm going to be optimistic and positive, or at least be real. And that's what this is really about. I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm going to ramble. I'm going to leave most of these videos as uncut as possible, especially when I'm doing a sit-down chat like this. There's no need to remove the fat. Like, if you guys are my fans, you want to see this stuff. If you're a long-time homie, you can sit down, maybe skim through it a bit. If you're like Lachlan and you don't want to watch the whole thing, that's cool. You know, you do what you got to do out here. But I'm going to kick your ass in the ring in the undermatch once I revive my channel because I heard you have to have at least 5 million subscribers. So I make that one. I got that checkbox. But you probably have to have a decent amount of views per video. But anyways, we'll get to that another day. But I will still call Lachlan out for that undercard at some point. Anyhow. Um, um, shout outs though to the rest of my homie G's. I'm going to give a big shout out to Jerome, to Preston, to Vic, to Rob, to Lachlan, like I've already said, to Pizza Hut, to Log.zip, to Nooch, to Team Crafted back then, to everybody who's been a part of my journey, to my fans for joining me eight years on this channel. It has been incredible. I love you long time. Appreciate you very much. And I'm excited for the future. If you haven't seen some of my other videos, you got to check out that Benja channel. I understand that that channel um, is not family friendly. And I'd say in the slightest, it's really not that raunchy. Let's be real. But uh, it's, it's real life funny videos. So go and check that out. It's a good time. And like I said, I'm going to launch a new channel soon for things like Fortnite. Probably mostly Fortnite because that game is freaking awesome. I love playing it myself. I play it a lot. And I'm actually pretty damn good at it. I've been playing a decent amount since you last saw it. So I think if I can join in with some of the homies on that, that would be sick. I've talked to them a bit about that already. They're cool to let me beg the scenes and see if I can uh, maybe grow that channel a fresh start. Because I feel like there's a lot of baggage on this channel. Because like I said, YouTube has not been putting me in any whatsoever spots to gain new viewers which is frustrating but i did it to myself a bit i gotta make moves now i gotta do what i gotta do and i'm gonna work harder than ever i'm gonna make more videos better videos well i shouldn't say better that's a very subjective word i'm gonna enjoy my videos that's what i'll say i'm gonna enjoy the creation process more than i have in a long time and i'm excited for that but like I said, over the next few days, there's still some of the cringy videos that are pre-recorded. And uh, that stuff's coming out. It's going to be lit. Uh, well, no, it won't be. Um, unless you're into that. And then after that, videos are going to be what I want to do. They're still going to be Minecraft, but it'll be things that I really enjoy playing in the game. Like maybe I'll hook up with Preston. That sounds weird. Um, and play some Bed Wars or some different PvP games. Maybe I'll let him kick my ass in some parkour. Uh, maybe I will do a, a collab with Log.Zip Tyler. Maybe he'll get squeeze in one more out of the... Maybe he can squeeze in one last Beijing Canadian hurrah in there. Uh, <laughs> I'll see what people are up to. But I just want to chill. I want to be more connected with both my fans and my close friends online. I talked to the guys recently, and it wasn't exactly a very long conversation either, which I feel a bit bad for referencing it now, but whatever. I've been disconnected, and that's my own fault. Like, I haven't made enough time... For my friends, I know this sounds like having a second girlfriend or a job or something crazy, but you really do have to make an effort to stay in touch with people, and those are my good friends, and I want to do that. Especially since I don't get to see them too often, I may as well hang out online and play some video games. Why not? So yeah, that's my plan. I want to be more available to them, more available to all of you. I want to be myself, enjoy my thing, and that is really it for this video. So yeah, am I quitting? Kind of. I like I'm I'm, I'm quitting Minecraft as soon as possible, but I'm not doing it cold turkey. 
but as soon as possible, yes. So Pixark, please, for the love of all that is holy, be an awesome game. It looks amazing. If you haven't heard of it, you should check it out. Um, I've heard rumors of other games that are going to be sandbox-esque, Minecraft-style-esque. Hopefully those come out soon too because I have an audience that likes those kinds of games. I like those kinds of games and I just hope there's one that's so kick-ass that people want to see it as much as they want to see Fortnite because I will film the heck out of that. And I'll update you when I release that new Benja Games or whatever the heck I call it channel. So stay tuned for that. I love you a long time. Thank you for your time here today. Uh, I hope this has been a bit of a nostalgic experience just hearing me ramble and chat. I hope this was as eloquent as possible. And I will see you people all later. And uh, side note, God bless Canada for not trademarking me yet. Gotta love it. See you all next time. Peace.